So AI coins and projects have been taken off. You may have noticed that both Render and BitTensor Tao have both achieved a $4.3 billion market cap as of today. The reason why they're taking off because it reflects the reality and the demand for AI and GPUs in the real world. So in today's video, I'm going to break that all down for you. So what's happening with AI, the GPUs that are needed for it, the dependent narrative that's going on in crypto. So that way we have a better framework of understanding when we're looking at projects. I'm also going to talk about one project that's going to be launching that I believe will probably achieve one of the biggest market cap, if not the biggest market cap in this upcoming AI run. So before we get into all the fun stuff, remember that none of this is financial advice. The crypto market is extremely risky and volatile and most people lose their money. So make sure you do your own due diligence and research before you get into any project. Also, I'm not sponsored by any project in this video. So everything that I say here are my thoughts on this project and in this sector. So with that out of the way, let's get started. Now, in order to understand why all of these AI coins are taking off, let's take a look at the real world starting at the very beginning, the GPU unit. GPU stands for the Graphics Processing Unit. It has a wide range of applications, but the ones we're most interested in are the applications to AI, and then also it allows you to render all of your game graphics, so for all of those gamers as well. But it does a lot more than that. It's also for media production, video editing, so it has a wide range of applications. Over this past year, there's been a desperate need for GPUs, and the reason for that is because of the AI race. If you just take a look at the curve right over here on the left-hand side, you can see that companies like Facebook, Dropbox, WhatsApp, Instagram, and TikTok has taken years in order to reach the 100 million users, whereas ChatGPT that's owned by OpenAI only took two months in order to get there. You can see that explosive growth requires a lot of computational power and requires that GPU. On the right-hand side is a data that's published by ARK Invest. You can see right here, starting in 2021, the demand for or, you know, hardware driven by AI is only $17 billion, but by 2025, that number has climbed more than 10 times. And then by, you know, 2030, that number has climbed to 1.7 trillion, giving it an annual growth of over 100% from year to year. The demand for hardware and GPUs, the power of this AI machine that's coming is astronomical. This is the reason why NVIDIA has been blowing up. Chances are, even if you're not a gamer, you don't do any video editing, you haven't heard of AI, you've probably heard of NVIDIA stocks blowing up. It started out at over $220 in the previous year, and it rocketed up over $800 during the same period of time. Now, NVIDIA is now the fourth most valuable company by assets. So you could see right over here, NVIDIA is now worth $2.1 trillion, only behind Microsoft, Apple, and then of course, gold as an asset. So they quickly pounced to the top because of this demand for AI. And all of these major tech companies like Facebook, Microsoft, Google, they're all quietly in the background working on their own AI project. Now, if you haven't been following along, you may have not noticed big companies like Microsoft, Google, and Facebook buying up all the GPU units around the world. Now, last year, Mark Zuckerberg talked about how Facebook or Meta spent almost $9 billion acquiring 350,000 GPU units. So the race is on in order to develop the next big AI tech. So just like how oil was the fuel that propelled the industrial revolution, GPU units are the oil and fuel that will push forward this AI revolution. Now, you may have heard of the word deepen. What is deepen and why is it relevant to us when we're looking at the crypto market? If you just go to Masari's research page, they published this awesome 50 plus page article on deepen. Now, I'm going to go through and just take you through the highlights of it, but you can definitely go in and check it out on your own time. It's a free research article that you can download that talks all about Deepin and why it's important. So the easiest way to understand Deepin is to start here. So notice Deepin stands for Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Networks, using crypto incentives to power some very critical infrastructure, such as data storage, such as wireless communications, such as processing, such as AI, what we talked about. So we're going to be focusing in this area of Deepin. So Deepin leverages tokenization and blockchain technology. 
in order to crowdsource people, both suppliers of GPUs and people who demand that GPU, whether it's companies or individuals, and then finally the hardware that brings it all together, the GPU unit. And in this case, we're focusing on AI and gaming. Those are the two big narratives and two big runs that are going to happen in this upcoming crypto bull cycle. And because of this crazy massive demand, there's a lot of companies and projects rushing in order to be the major supplier. If you just take a look at this chart right over here, you can see that the deep end landscape, right? There's a huge slew of companies in here. If you just take a look at computation right here, you have Akash Networks, right? You have Render, you have all of the usual people in crypto right now that's going on and some upcoming projects right over there. If you look at Bandwidth, you can see a bunch of companies fighting within that sector. Artificial intelligence, Tau Bit Tensor is the most widely known one. Renders in there, Akash is in there. Upcoming ones like GPU Net, okay, Fetch AI, Pow AI, all of the names that have been taking off during this cycle. There's no shortage of competition within this sector because everybody is competing to become that sort of Nvidia supplier within the blockchain industry. Now, the beautiful part about Deepin is that we don't rely on just one physical hardware infrastructure, one super GPU that's sitting in your house, but because it's decentralized, taking advantage of that blockchain technology, now companies can utilize a bunch of different GPUs sitting around the world. Think about all the gamers who have great graphics card sitting on their computer that's idle, that's not being put to use. So now when you're, if you're able to harness all of that power, you literally have thousands to hundreds of thousands of GPUs sitting around the world waiting in order to power AI and power different types of gaming applications that you need. So that's the power of decentralizing all all of these physical critical infrastructure that we have. Think about it kind of like Robinhood where you're redistributing that wealth. What I mean by that is instead of a couple of large corporate entities like Amazon, like Google, like companies like that that own everything, you can now distribute, redistribute all of that computational power all over the world where we can all share in some type of revenue source that comes in from those physical infrastructures. So now that we have that core understanding of why AI, GPU, and VPN is important to us, let's take a look at today's project. So the project that I'm referring to is Aether. Now Aether has not launched yet, but it may be one of the biggest AI launch that's going to happen within the next week or so. If you just take a look at its website right over here, you can see that they come right out and say they're distributed GPU cloud infrastructure for gaming and AI. So they put it right out there, they're a cloud Based infrastructure for the two hottest sector that's happening right now, gaming and AI. And if you scroll down, you can see they talk about their different models. What's impressive is that they say that they have 200,000 users, over 10 plus gaming studios, and 23 node locations. Now, what's the difference between them and a company like Render or other companies like Pow AI and all of these other companies that are racing in this arms race? Well, we're gonna go through this and see. So if you take a look here in terms of their backers, the people who are backing them, you can see that there are big names in here. Mirrored Circle, right? We talked about Mirrored Circle. They're one of our favorite projects being on this channel right over here. Animoca Brands, of course, Animoca Brands is in to, involved in everything. Hashkey Group. Okay, so lots of big people, and then obviously you see gate.io, Bybit down here. So a lot of major companies are getting behind them. And if we just look at the funding round, they actually raised $9 million at $150 million valuation from all these major VCs in their Series A. So keep that number in mind when we're thinking about what they're gonna be launching with. So coming back to their website, you can see that their business model lies around gaming, okay? Talking about the different services that they have in their gaming, and then obviously the AI, right? The different types of AI applications that they will be powering. So their website looks very clean, very beautiful, and they have a lot Lot of information on here. But what's the difference? What actually separates Aether from other companies like Render? So in order to answer that question, I had to dig around and look at some research around the different companies that are in this space. If you just take a look at Impossible Finance, they published a very good report. So if we just jump down here and focus on the meat of the report, this is actually Aether's GPU inventory units. So if you take a look at this list, I'm shocked that they have over 40,000 GPU units at their disposal. And the other thing is also the H100. 
These are sort of the holy grail industrial grade GPU units. And Aether right over here has over 3,000 of them. And if you go further down in the report, you're going to be even more shocked because when you compare them to their peers, Aether has more than 40,000 units. And remember, they have a huge amount of industrial grade GPUs versus something like Akash, which only has about 150. And then Render has about 4,000. And then the new other project that's coming up, which I like as well, IO.net has only roughly 20,000 units. You can see that they are way ahead of the competitors. None of the other competitors are even within the ballpark of where Aether is playing in. And finally, when I take a look back at the 2023 Masari Deepin report, what's shocking to me is that the entire combined market cap of all Deepin projects are worth $20 billion, but yet they are only generating $15 million of revenue right over here. So when you see that, you're, you're a little bit shocked. And then when I compare it to the on-chain data right over here, it shows that Deepin is only averaging about $28 million. And then comparing this to Aether, right over here, Aether has a $20 million annual recurring revenue. So they are bigger than all of the other projects combined by themselves. So that puts Aether at a significant advantage compared to its peers. Now let's take a look at the tokenomics together. If we come right over here, we can see that this is the tokenomics distribution breakdown. The mining rewards right over here is 50%. Team and advisors are about 15%, which is pretty average, like most other projects, like most other GameFi projects. Their private sales is 15%. Their KOLs, which are the key opinion leaders, basically the influencers, 1%. Liquidity pools, 4%. Uh, incubator 2.5% and then their DAO and their treasury at 12.5%. So pretty normal tokenomics. And taking a look at their vesting schedule, you could see that here are the percentages again. Their vesting schedule is 18 month cliff for the team and advisors with a 36 month linear vesting schedule. Private sales about the same, 12 months and then 24 months, so that's about two years. Uh, KOLs, uh, you know, that 1% is vested 10% at PGE, so they'll have 10% available on the first day, and then with a three month cliff and then 15 months. So roughly about 18 months overall. Liquidity, you know, 100% at TGE incubator, 18 months uh, clip with a 36 month linear vesting schedule, and then their DAO, 100% available at TGE. Finally, the mining rewards, 50%, they will vest it over a reward schedule. So if you take a look at it, the key stakeholders, it's about a two to three year hold. And like what I always say in all of my video, what matters in crypto is this current cycle. So I'm a strong believer of that. It doesn't mean that the vesting schedule is not important, but what happens three years away right now from crypto, for me, it's almost irrelevant of what's happening in this cycle and how I should think about my investment strategy. So coming over to their Twitter, you could see they have a massive following. They have about 183,000 followers and their node sales are coming up. So make sure you look out for it. So they have a lot of threads on it. But if you want to get a hold of their nodes, take a look at their partners. OK, so they'll be having a lot of partners. So Swiss Borg, uh, you know, one of the exchanges on there. And then you could see that it's also on Cedify. Uh, it's also on Solanium.io, okay, one of the popular launch pads of the last one. And then it's on Spartadex.io right over here. So they actually have a lot of people that will be launching their nodes. Um, so it's going to be one of the biggest launch nodes. So there's going to be a lot of people fighting to get into this sale. In terms of the token sale, I don't know when that's going to happen yet, but these will probably be some of the most sought off after token. So we want to think about the price of the token. So the Series A investors came in at roughly $150 uh, million. So when you're looking at the token price launch, remember that price in your mind, okay, that market cap, because it will likely not launch for lower than that. But this is certainly one project you definitely want to put on your list and to take a look out for. Okay guys, that wraps it up for this video. I hope that you found something valuable towards your own crypto journey. So I will be looking forward to getting into the node sale and hopefully in the future being able to get my hands on some of the Aether tokens. I hope that you enjoyed that content. Please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing and I will see you next time.